I want to show you how to work with bookmarking in a project that you're not going to put on a learning management system. First of all, bookmarking allows your learners to return to where they left off if they close the web browser. If you're uploading your lesson into a learning management system, bookmarking is included by default. If you're not uploading to a learning management system, you need to turn on bookmarking, which most people miss. I've already published this lesson. I'm not intending to put it up into an LMS. I want to show you what the published lesson will look like if I go through the lesson, close the browser, and relaunch the lesson. So here we go. I'll open up the web page in my default browser, which is Chrome. I'll launch the lesson, start playing it, close the browser window. If bookmarking were enabled, I'd go right back to where I left off. Let's check out what happens. And I don't. I go right back to the beginning of the lesson. So I'll close the browser window, return to Captivate, and I'm going to turn on bookmarking. So I'll visit the project menu, I'll choose Skin Editor. I'll visit the table of contents, I'll select show TOC, and I'll turn on everything on my TOC. I'm going to drag the skin editor up so you can see there's a settings button at the bottom of the screen. So here I go. And I'll click settings. And I'm going to select self-paced learning, and I'll press the enter key to click OK. I'll close the skin editor. And I'm going to republish. I'll replace the existing content. I'm not going to watch it just yet. I'll return to the window and open it manually with my web browser. I'll play the lesson again, close the browser window, and let's see what happens again now. I'll launch the browser window again, this time I'm met with a message, do I want to continue from where I stopped the last time? I'll click OK, it'll take me right to that rename folder lesson.